good morning, good afternoon, good evening, catfish farmers. Uh, as I told you before, that uh, I will show you how to connect this uh, flow through system. On our previous video, I show you how to construct this pond. We have done with the construction of this pond. Now um, I've already done the flow through system and I'm going to show you what I did here. Just stay tuned and watch me. Please, if you are having, if you are getting value for this video, please uh, try and subscribe and like this video. And also, if you have any question, you can drop it on the comment section below. Uh, let me show you exactly what I did on this, uh, on this, uh, on this pond. All the flow through system, as you can see, the water is getting in there. I'm going out from this end. So I will show you now. This is the inlet system. This is the inner system of the water. It has a ball gauge and this is a pipe and it's being perforated from this end to this end. And if you check very well on this pond, the flow through system is uh, is mounted at the end of this at the end of the edge of this pond. And as this water is entering here, it's leaving from this air uh, from this end of the pond. And as it's leaving there and it's overflowing to this point. As you can see here now, this is the level of this water. This is the level of the water inside the pond. The, the reason of this is that when your water stops running from the overhead tank, it will not finish on this uh, pond that you are seeing. That's why you have this overflow here. As you can see, this is the overflow, and this is the level of this uh, the level of the water inside this pond. And for instance, if you want to discharge completely, you can use the bulk gauge here. This is the bulk gauge. When you open this bulk gauge, all the water that is inside here will, fin will go out. That's the reason of this uh, construction. And if you can watch from other video, other uh, pond, we did the same thing on the other pond. Look at it. As the water is getting in there, it's leaving from this, uh, from this, uh, from this discharge pipe to this overflow. So we have three ponds at hand. I will be doing a, a hashing on this uh, on this pond. So if you haven't subscribed to our channel, please do so. I'm going to have interactive section on fish hashing step by step from the beginning to the end both the management of this uh, fish pond, the management of the fries and everything. So please, the only support you can give us is for you to subscribe to our channel. The three pond are ready. As you can see them, they are ready. Now the next thing I have here is this. I'm going to treat this pond. This is just a freshly built let me say I just modified this for in case you maybe you are doing a new one and you finish plastering it and everything you don't just do hashing on it you have to treat it for at least six to seven days so this one now I'm going to I'm going to treat it with some natural leaves that you have that is accessible you can get it from anywhere what I have here is a uh, elephant grass and a uh, and plantain or banana leaves i'm going to use it to treat this pond i'm going to place them inside inside this pond that you are seeing after placing them there i will leave them for like six to seven days for them to ferment inside this pond it will neutralize any chemical inside this pond any cement chemical that is present in this pond will be neutralized and after that i will i will make a video and show you how to wash this pond how to treat it before we start our hashing so that is what i'm going to do now so that is what i'm going to do now let me get some of them i'm going to share them
Then we just plantain leaves. Now I've placed some of the elephant grass inside the ponds. I will add the plantain leaves on the ponds. And I will leave it there for seven days for them to neutralize the chemical inside this pond. Start them. Squeeze them. So please, <coughs> what I want you to do for me is just for you to subscribe to this channel, like our video, that's the support you can give us. And I promise to get good content across to you. We have undiluted information about catfish farming. So what I want you to do, hit that uh, notification bell to get any value video that is coming your way. Because after this, uh, after this, uh, after this thing that we are doing here now, I'm going to make a video uh, step by step on how to use this pond. I will treat this pond. After treating this pond, we will do hashing on this pond. And after hashing on this pond, all the management process until they get to fingerling will be shown to you. So stay tuned to this channel. Let's see, go and press it. Press this thing. Let them enter inside. After some time, when you come to this place, you see the water will change. The color of the water will change very well. It can up the water, up the flow through. So this is the end of this uh, episode and on my next video I will show you how to treat this pond before we do our hashing on this pond. I will treat it and I will show you what you use in treating this pond. Then uh, the reason of this uh, modification is that um, the flow through system wasn't working very well. And this thing that we did now is the problem that this this uh, hatchery is facing. So it's because of this, it did, they didn't place the flow through system very well. The water got polluted before, uh, after some time, and the flies will start dying. So that is why we did this modification that we did here now. So if you are constructing such pond, try everything possible to um, imitate this type of uh, one that you are doing. Just try to imitate this one and you can 